This is my last tomato. Welcome to day 28 of State of Emergency here in Lisbon. It's a Wednesday, it's the 15th of April to be precise, and there are only two more days of this State of Emergency to go. This is so the weather forecast today was rain, and there was actually quite a little bit of rain on and off today, and the weather doesn't seem to decide whether it's going to be sunny or whether it's going to be very cloudy. It's kind of... Lately, that's the way it's been. Yesterday, I got rained on a lot. I took the metro. That was the first time since this whole thing, since the state of the emergency hit, basically. I didn't go in the metro at all. I did go on that tram ride the other day, and I brought you along with me. It was fine because the carriages were just so empty, and I didn't touch anything, and then I made a lot of use of my hand sanitizer. So today, as always, there's a lot of activity happening on the worksite across the lane. As always, I was woken up by the motor of the cement mixer, which is right underneath my bedroom window. And they haven't really progressed that much on the roof tile situation. They did have lunch up there, <laughs> as you do. And I'm actually interested to see what kind of window they will put in those dormer windows. So that dormer window will face directly into mine, but also there's all the other dormers. And I'm not sure what kind of windows they put in there. Um, you get to be really curious when you've got nothing else to do. Although I do a lot of other things, I am actually pretty busy. Most of the other things consist in either videoing or editing videos, but still, that keeps me surprisingly busy. And I've eaten lunch already, and it was pretty tasty, but I'm really needing to get back to the supermarket and buy some more food because I'm running out. This is my last tomato. And so I'll do that today as well. And now for the grim statistics. Portugal numbers for the virus have increased to 18,091 confirmed cases with an overnight increase of 643. That's a 3.7% increase. What we all want to see is 0% increase, isn't it? Everywhere in the world. And there were 32 deaths overnight to a total so far of 599 deaths. Meanwhile, in Queensland, Australia, which is where I normally live, they still haven't broken through the 1,000 confirmed cases mark. They did a bit of a revision of numbers recently. These might be a bit inconsistent with what I told you yesterday. As of today, numbers have gone up to 999. They'd had a total of five new cases overnight. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Isabel. I hope you're enjoying this series of videos I filmed in Lisbon. I am now back in Australia, as you can probably guess. Yes, I made it back home, but not without lots of adventures along the way, including my two weeks in hotel quarantine in Melbourne after I got back to Australia, which I also filmed. So be sure to subscribe and come back and watch those videos as I upload them. So take care and see you next time. Australia-wide is doing really well still. 
they have a total of 6,445 cases and 63 deaths total. So Australia has 20 million people approximately, and it's an enormous country. And I think that helps because there isn't a concentration of population except in large cities such as Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane. But New York Times has reported that the global economy is expected to decline by 3% this year. And apparently that's the steepest downturn since the Great Depression of the 1930s. Yeah, we have to wait and see what it looks like. I think that people will consume less even when the shops open again, I think we'll all consume a little bit less. We've all learned that we can survive by just sticking to essentials. But of course, life is much more than just survival, isn't it? So a lot of people have lost their jobs and whether they will go back to those jobs after things open is something that we are yet to see. So yeah. anyway, I guess I'll leave it at that for today. Be sure to come along with me for my walk. I will take you northeast, I think. We haven't actually walked up in that direction. So I'll see how much I can film. As I've told you, I don't really have that much disk space, either in my phone or in my laptop. So I'll see how I go. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you tomorrow again. Bye-bye. <laughs> I wonder if that's what it will look like, the dormer windows that they are building across the lane from me. So they sort of have a recess. It's almost like a little Juliet balcony, isn't it? I guess. Right, here we go. I'm off. I'm going to walk. We haven't been this way before, so let's see what happens.
Thank you.